Lightspeed Cash versus W3 Total Cash. Which one's better? Which one should you choose? Well, let's dive in and take a look and see what's going to be best for your specific situation. So I have this website, Missoula Lawn Services here, and the homepage is pretty long. There's quite a bit of text, a lot of images, and, and it's running Lightspeed Cash, the plugin, and it's on the light a server that allows Lightspeed Cash. Essentially, the the server has to be integrated in order in order to enable Lightspeed Cash plugin. We'll dive into that a little deeper here in a bit. But that I have this other website that is using W3 Total Cash, and it is shorter. The whole page is shorter. There's fewer images. The images aren't as big. And I went ahead and ran some tests on the page load speed to see which one was faster. So if we look at GT metrics, we'll see this is the Autoglass website. Its first contentful paint is showing up in 0.8 seconds. And it's taking 2.4 seconds to fully load the page. Then if we compare that with the Lawn Services website, First content full paint is in 0.7 seconds, and fully loaded is only 2.1 seconds. Now I realize that's only a difference of 0.3 seconds, but in the world of online marketing, 0.3 seconds when it comes to page load speed can make a huge difference. In fact, companies like Amazon have done studies, and they find that even just 0.1 seconds saved with page load speed can result in a, a boost in conversions, and for them, that's, you know, millions if not billions of dollars each year so <laughs> needless to say it's really important if someone's sitting there waiting for your website to load and they're like is this thing even working then they're just going to hit the back button and leave and you don't want to do that in fact google found that if a website loads in less than three seconds which this is loading in 2.1 seconds so we're fine but if it's taking longer than three seconds to load 50 percent of mobile visitors just hit the back button and Google uses uh, Lighthouse, which is a service that runs Speed Insights, to check your page speed and see, you know, is your site super slow? If so, then it doesn't want to put it up at the top of the organic search results. And you can use the Page Speed Insights tool. You can just Google Page Speed Insights. You'll find it. It'll show up at the top. And you'll notice it starts with the mobile version of the site. And that's because... 60% of Google searches are now conducted on mobile devices. And mobile devices tend to be a lot slower in terms of being able to load web pages than a computer. And so it wants to make sure your site's going to load fast on a mobile device. And we can see here that we have a score of 52. And that's on the launch service website that's using Lightspeed Cache. And the page is even bigger with more resources and stuff. And then if we look at the W3 Total Cache page, it's only got a score of 31 and you can see the difference here these blocks indicate what's happening at each point and it takes all the way to almost the last block for the for the page to even look like it's loaded so that somebody would stick around and want to visit around on the page whereas with light speed cache that's happening right away i mean the page is almost fully loaded right here in the middle and it's 52 whereas the website where we're using W3 Total Cash is only a 31. So all in all, W3 Total Cash is fine. I mean, there's, it's not a bad plugin to use. The thing is, it's just a little bit limited as far as what you can do, unless you want to upgrade to the to the paid version, of course. Uh, but you can set up like Page Cash, Minify. The settings are sort of just basic um, database cache object cache CDN is just it's not super straightforward I'm kind of partial to Lightspeed cache uh, but in general I've just had a lot better results there's more functionality like if we take a look at the options for our Lightspeed cache I mean we've got minify combine you can the cool thing about Lightspeed is you can turn each of these on and off individually, whereas with W3 Cache, it's kind of all in or all out. You know, you're either using it or you're not, whether it be Minify or what have you. And some of these different elements can end up 
making your site load weird and not look right. So with Lightspeed, you can toggle on and off individual ones, see what's working, see what's not, and just leave the ones on that aren't breaking your site, essentially. And there's all sorts of stuff it offers from you know, loading, loading, uh, loading JavaScript deferred and minifying and combining to minifying HTML, even lazy loading images, which we're not using on this site because it makes this slider look all funky. Um, and then you can exclude, like if you want to exclude the logo so it doesn't lazy load, you can do that. There's just all sorts of functionality with Lightspeed. Now, the disadvantage with Lightspeed Cache is that you can only use it on a website that is hosted on a server that allows Lightspeed Cache, meaning it has Lightspeed Cache integrated into the server. So if you just have some GoDaddy server, you know, that you're paying 10 bucks a month for, it's not going to allow you to even download and install the Lightspeed Cache plugin. So that is one downside. You have to get a specific type of server that will... And it's already pre-enabled with Lightspeed Cache functionality. So if you have that type of server, then definitely go with Lightspeed Cache. If you're just using a cheap server from you know GoDaddy or HostGator or something like that, then it might be more beneficial for you to just well, <laughs> you're not you're not even gonna have the option to use Lightspeed Cache. So in that case, yeah, use W3 Cache, run some PageSpeed Insight tests and some GT Metrics tests before and after and just see. It definitely sped this site up. I think the site was loading in like five or six seconds before installing and setting up and optimizing uh, W3 Total Cache. But it's definitely not as powerful as using Lightspeed Cache. So the only other thing I love about Lightspeed Cache that None of I can't even find any other plugins that really do this, any caching plugins, but anytime you update, so you can see there's 11 things that need to be updated here. When we update those different plugins and themes and everything, it's going to automatically purge the cache on its own. Whereas with W3 Total Cache, you can see it's telling us one or more plugins have been activated or deactivated, please empty the page cache, minify settings. It, it wants us to go in and clear the cache each time a plugin is updated or even activated or deactivated. And if you know anything about WordPress, it's constantly needing to be updated. So it just gets annoying having to go in there, clear the cache over and over and over and over and over again. Whereas with Lightspeed Cache, that's built right in. So each time you update, it knows that and it's just going to clear the cache for you automatically. So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you have questions about in terms of either of these uh, caching plugins, just drop them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.